Growing up, I had this opinion, and so did a lot of my friends, that we kind of needed to go to school and get out of Norfolk County and be gone. And I really want to change that opinion for my future kids that are leaving because I think Norfolk County is amazing. The people here, a lot of us have, you know, long, deep roots in the area and we're all pretty proud of it. I love the small town feel and that a lot of the people in this community are approachable and friendly and easy to talk to. People are so willing to bounce ideas off of you. They're so willing to help, um, which is really nice. People give you the shirt off the back and they're not afraid to lend a helping hand when you're down and out and need it. I don't want it to become a community that changes that way and we don't know our neighbors. I feel like Norfolk County has a lot of great opportunities and a lot of great potential and I feel like our biggest issue right now is miscommunication. I think Norfolk County can just have a lot more outreach and a lot more available information for kids. For example, an event such as Rethink Norfolk. I didn't really know about it until I got involved in the business area. So just kind of more social media, that's a huge thing, especially for my age. Get it out there, let people know, even if they don't have that entrepreneurial background, um, invite them anyways, because hey, maybe you might start an entrepreneur right here in this event. I would love to see um, people who have skills and who are entrepreneurs to connect with other like-minded people and use their skills and really connect um, the versatility of the community. Definitely one of the things that we have a problem with here in, in Norfolk is we do lose a lot of young professionals. Uh, there aren't really a lot of jobs here. When I originally moved back it was like a lot of digging for information to figure out how to start things, where to go. Um, who, to, who to talk to because it, a lot of times job postings are, are occasionally hidden. You really have to uh, know someone to get into certain jobs and as far as being qualified, like you don't even know what you need. <laughs> so I think just having information more readily available is uh, very important. I think something like Rethink Norfolk is a great uh, starting point for whether you're going to start a business or live and work in Norfolk or try and find some different employment. I think that they do a great job. However, again, I did a lot of the work to find that out and I feel like as an outsider, if I showed up here or if I was a younger kid, I just wouldn't know. So I want to make sure that uh, all the youth would be able to be informed about everything that's going on around them. By offering more workshop training, I think the county can um, you know, look at some of the different services that are out there and connect people. So I know that funding is something that a lot of new business owners uh, struggle with. I think letting the actual general public know that if they keep their dollars in our community to support local businesses, that um, it will come back to them and the whole community tenfold. I think that's a very important thing that that message needs to get out there more. The youth in general, we gotta get our youth off the streets, we gotta get our youth involved, we gotta get a drive behind them, we gotta get a passion lit underneath of them. Providing some information and some ways to really grasp onto what they're providing so that youth can feel engaged and feel empowered to do some great things in Norfolk. That's really something that I lacked um, growing up and always thought that you had to go to the big city to achieve your goals when really you can do all those things and more in your own backyard. I think that it might be a scary time for the community in the last 10 years because of the transitions that's been happening, but as an outsider I see it as potential and opportunity. I only hope that in next year's event that it's going to be twice the size and um, that we can not only do it once a year, but maybe every four months to really continue to um, collaborate on ideas and expand the community. I think that it's a great opportunity to bring different organizations together to see really what's happening here. And I think that spurs excitement and uh, creativity. So I think that attracting entertaining youth is now a focus and there are those opportunities available. So um, we're definitely making some positive uh, strides. If I can work and play and stay here, I will, uh, because it really is a beautiful, wonderful, uh, diverse, cool place to be. So I think we can only grow from here.